How's it going, folks? Tactar Ted. And what's on my mind this glorious Monday? Well, it happens to be the Solomon Islands. The Solomon Islands? Where the hell are the Solomon Islands? They're in the Pacific. If you don't know, read up on it. And don't let anybody else tell you what to think. I'm going to tell you what I think. You don't have to think what I think about this. This is the great thing about American free speech. We can say our opinions and we should be allowed to say so. So let me tell you my opinion on the Solomon Islands deal. So apparently the Solomon Islands have concluded some sort of a deal or treaty with the Chai Coms. Yes, the Chinese communists. The people who gave us the Wuhan Red Death. Those folks, um, better known as COVID, those folks are not what I would consider good people. I consider them, next to Joe Biden, the greatest threat to American security. So, when Australia and the United States says, we're not going to allow the Chinese to put a base in the Solomon Islands, it threatens our security. In the Pacific, it threatens the United States security. Okay, cool, I agree. You don't let people set up their bases in areas that threaten your security. Even though the Solomon Islands has sovereignty, even though the People's Republic of China has sovereignty, if it threatens your security and it's on your doorstep, which arguably the Solomon Islands is not on America's doorstep, you should be able to say, I'm not going to allow you to encroach on my security. Absolutely, I agree. Same thing we did in Cuba with the missile crisis. We said we're not going to allow Soviet missiles on the territory of Cuba because at that time, missiles didn't have that long of a flight pattern. And this would shorten the flight pattern and it could be very devastating to New York Washington, the eastern seaboard. It wasn't cool. It was a dagger pointed at us. And we did not allow it. And we almost came to World War III over it. I agree. That was a good idea. I think we should have taken those steps. Here is the issue. We don't smell ourselves. No, we don't. Because I'll be quite honest. We live in a hypocritical world. We're justifiably worried about the Solomons. We have a right to our own security, yes. And we have the need to look out for our own security, absolutely. Now, the Chinese will probably say, hey, you're being ridiculous. We're just putting a base there for A, B, C, D, or E. And it really doesn't affect you folks. It shouldn't affect you folks. In fact, hell, man, we're just peaceful little commie bastards. And we don't want any problems. We just need a base for our ships to go to. We just need a base for our aircraft. We're, we're fine. It's, it's just aviation and, and shipping. Don't worry about it. You guys understand we supply you with so much crap that you don't need. You, you do understand that we're a vital part of your supply chain now. And, of course, that's the Chinese version. But I agree with the American version that we have the right and the need to look out for our own security. So, pardon me if I point out the hypocrisy that for many months... Uh, the president of Russia was decrying the fact that NATO involvement in Ukraine or Ukraine becoming a member of NATO, he felt threatened the security of his country. And he did. And he made threats that he wouldn't allow it to happen. It's not going to happen. And we laughed at him. Ukraine laughed at him. Ukraine didn't want to negotiate. And we currently have a shooting war going on between Ukraine and the Russian Federation because Putin takes his own personal security seriously. And it really bothers me. I'm an American. I love my country. What really bothers me is hypocrisy. I don't like hypocrisy. I don't like a lot of the hypocrisy that goes on. I don't like that there's rules for certain people and then you have people who do terrible things and because of their position in corporations or government are never held to account. And it's kind of swept under the rug and goes away. I don't believe that. I believe that if I brandish a gun at somebody and I get in trouble for brandishing, 
but somebody else shoots some teenager swimming in his pool, but because he happens to be a bigwig in DC, he doesn't go to jail. And that is an old, that's not new, that is an old uh, example because that actually did happen in DC. It actually did happen with a councilman who was seriously anti-gun and yet he shot a teenager who happened to be of a different shading than him who was skinny dipping in his pool. Uh, I don't see where a dripping wet 16 year old is a threat to me, especially when I'm a large adult male with a firearm. But anyhow, he shot this kid and didn't kill him, but that's a whole different story. I don't like hypocrisy. I really don't. So when we recognize pieces of other countries as independent states as we have done in the past, when we bomb other countries to get our will enforced that we do not declare war on, I have a problem with that. Um, and then we turn around and we get on somebody else for doing the same sort of thing. We get on, we're not happy that Putin has um, recognized the Donbass, the, the two separate republics, Lugansk and Donetsk. We don't like that, but yet we did the same thing when we recognized Bosnia and took that from the Serbs. Um, it's, to me, it's extremely interesting that, it, it's, that we can do anything we want, which we should be able to, but then we have a fit when somebody else does exactly the same sort of things we do. That doesn't bode well. That doesn't make us, um, in my ideas, it does not make us a beacon of freedom. It does not make us a beacon of integrity. In fact, the hypocrisy really helps to destroy American integrity. And we not that we not that our government doesn't have integrity problems at home. And don't get me wrong, I've served this country. I've worn its uniform. I've done things for it. And when I found myself where I had oversight, I complied. I did my job. That's what, how I feel about my country. But me as an individual person, I have a right to call out what I don't think is right. I have a duty for my country to call out what I feel is wrong. And I believe the way we are acting over what's going on in Ukraine is bad. I don't think it's right. I don't think it's right at all. Um, a lot of this is reminding me of a lot of things we used to poke at the Soviet Union about during the Cold War. We used to talk about how if there's conflicts, the Soviet people aren't allowed information about it. They're just told what the government line is. And that's what we have going on here. We've shut out any opposition media. That was something that the Soviet Union did. That's something that Nazi Germany did. That is something I don't tend to agree with because of freedom of the press, freedom of information. Uh, I'm sure that we could have a big, long discussion about if freedom of speech applies to people outside of this country. Apparently, I guess it does because we allow people the rights guaranteed by citizenship. We allow, allow a lot of those rights to be given to illegal aliens. So why, don't, uh, why doesn't uh, Izvestia have a right to publish here? Why doesn't Sputnik have a right to be on the internet? You know, it, it, to me, we're going to a very dark place and it really bothers me. It bothers me in a lot of, a lot of ways. And there were some interesting developments last night, um, in the war, apparently, uh, Bryansk, which is a hundred clicks from the border with Ukraine was hit last night, oil refinery on fire. Um, I haven't really got a chance this morning to sit down and look at all the sources I have overseas to see what's going on over there. And you may ask yourself, well, why, Dave, why don't you just take the, the sources here? I mean, CNN is reporting on it. If you want foreign sources, there's the BBC, there's Deutsche Welle. Well, the sad thing is all those are saying the exact same thing. And a lot of times you can prove what they're saying isn't correct. And there, but you have to be able to find the other side. And they've made it a little difficult to find the other side. I mean, guys, um, you know, let, let's, let's, it's no big secret. There are plenty of places I can go if I want to watch RT. 
But the problem is most people won't put in the effort to find those places. And I'm not going to broadcast them here because the doxing left is going to get out there and just find ways to screw all that up, take websites down, and all that happiness. So anyhow, folks, just a few thoughts for you to chew on today. I'll talk to you later. Bye.